Hi, my name is Cole Pearson. I'm with Marone Bio Innovations out of Davis, California, and today I'm actually working with the Asian Citrus Psyllid, uh, which is a highly detrimental um, bat insect that, uh, that basically transmits a disease known as citrus greening, um, which actually can end up killing off the entire citrus tree itself uh, and also uh, result in a loss of fruit production. Um, so we're looking for ways to help control this insect uh, using a variety of different products and the way I do that or one of the ways that we do that is uh, through using a tool or technology known as EPG or electrical penetration graph. The way we do that is that we take um, an electrode which you see right here and we stick it down into the soil which will run a very small electrical current through the entire plant itself and then we actually have um, here we actually have our Asian citrus psyllid sitting on the leaf and we've taken a very small gold wire and glued that to their back and that's actually being inserted into an amplifier which you see here. This will go back um, into the machine which will then send a signal to the computer and what's going on here is that when the insect is on the leaf um, crawling along and inserts its stylets it's now completed that circuit. So it's very similar to an electrocardiogram or EKG for your heart in the hospital. You get a readout on the screen, a little rise and fall, a little boop boop on the screen there. Um, that's exactly what I'm doing here, except that I'm using the little teeny tiny muscles and valves inside the insect's head while it's pumping and sucking away different parts of the plant tissue um, to give us uh, a waveform or pattern on the screen that we can then interpret where they are in the plant and how long they've been feeding. So once we've hooked up the Asian citrus psyllid and made it part of the circuit in the um, electrical penetration graph system or the EPG, um, this is the readout we get on the screen. So these are waveforms that have been collected from the psyllids that have been feeding uh, during a set, ma set amount of time and you can see here there's some different patterns that are formed and uh, I can then go back through and interpret those and I can see whether or not the insect actually made it to the phloem, how long it was in the phloem or from whatever other types of tissues the insect may have been feeding from during that time. And so what we're looking for uh, with this current setup actually is to see if that we can actually interrupt the psyllid from its normal everyday feeding process. Um, so the, the, these psyllids go down into the phloem or sap conducting tissues uh, and that's where they acquire their nutrients but that's also where this pathogen they transmit lives. So if we can stop them or prevent them somehow from getting down into that phloem tissue, the, the pathogen will uh, not actually be acquired or picked up by the insects and also will not be transmitted back to the citrus to the citrus trees. And um, so we can actually treat them with different treatments, hook them up to this machine, and look for differences in their feeding behavior or patterns through those, those different uh, waveforms that we actually predict, uh, pick up and produce um, from this process. And we can see if it actually help stop the Asian citrus psyllid from actually transmitting this disease and actually perhaps in the future control their populations.